five-year-old team play? Uh, it it, it uh, certainly uh, allowed me an opportunity to revisit a lot of pleasant memories that I had during my 11 years here at Washington State. I, I think perhaps maybe the, the most unique part of the visit has been the change in the physical structure of the campus and, and particularly the athletic department. Uh, it's, it's just uh, stunning what has, has, has uh, transpired over, over the last 10, 15, 20 years. Uh, I, I, I don't know if I could find my way around in, in the building now. Every time I turn a corner, I feel like I'm, I'm lost. But uh, one of the things I said at the luncheon today, and, and I think it's manifested in, 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 in what I just said from the, the, the positive physical changes in the campus, is that I, I think that one thing that's been consistent from 72 when I arrived to this very day, is the university's always been blessed with, with sterling leadership. And, uh, and I think that that's what's kept the university progressive. It's kept them uh, uh, being able to uh, take advantage of. And a lot of times, because geographically, it's, it makes it tough. They've always, the leaders have always been able to make a way out of no way. And, and as we all know, the university lost a great leader and, and president. Uh, and he certainly was a, a, a game changer, a positive difference maker. And so when I, I look back uh, from 72 to, to now, it, it, it's just mind boggling what, what has been achieved. And, and I don't know that any of us in our wildest dreams ever thought that the university would, would be in the position it's in today from an athletic uh, standpoint, facility-wise. And, 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 and some of the buildings that I've seen on campus from a, a academic perspective and a housing perspective are, are, are gigantic steps forward too. So all those things, when you marry them together, it puts the university in a position to be a solid contributor in the Pac-12 conference. When in the early days when I was here, there was always this this uh, thought, a lot of it perpetrated by John McKay, that we shouldn't have been be in the conference and we were kind of a stepchild of the conference. But I think those days are gone forever, and I think that uh, the university will continue to be a positive contributor to the conference in the coming years. And, what I, I, I think is pretty obvious that Ernie's got the program headed in the right direction. He's got some uh, really nice pieces that I love both of the freshman kids. I think uh, they're what I call keepers. Uh, great attitude, uh, com camaraderie out there tonight. And uh, so uh, if people are looking for any overt evidence that Ernie's the guy, I, I think it, 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 it was never more evident than it was tonight that that he, he, he was the right choice at the right time and, and that he's going to take the program to higher levels of achievement. Ernie's mentioned you as a, as a mentor so many times. Do you see something of yourself in the way he relates to athletes and players? Uh, not really because cause I, I was a lot more emotional and cuckoo than Ernie. Ernie's got a lot, a lot more mental stability than me. I was, I was kind of a, a rah-rah, uh, 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 crazy, crazy guy out there. I'd be jumping up, telling the students to get up and cheer and that, but a lot of that was just mental dis, uh, desperation, you know. Uh, Ernie, Ernie's a lot more civil than I am. So I don't, I don't know that we could compare each other other than we're both African Americans and we both coach basketball and we love the game. But after that, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, there's many similarities between us because I was kind of cuckoo. Are you able to watch the games as a fan or do you still have that inner coach in you when you watch them? No, I watch him strictly as a coach. I, you know, I'm sitting there thinking, Hey, he should have he should have back cut or 
whatever. I'm, 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 I'm kind of mentally coaching the game myself there. Uh, but it, it was it was a, a, a great feeling to be back here. Uh, it, of all the places that I coach, I, I always feel uncomfortable in making comparisons because I always feel that that people at Iowa and USC say, "Oh, he didn't he didn't he didn't think we were good enough." But that it is it really isn't it, it really it isn't that at all. It's just that this is where where it all began for me, and 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 the, you were really a coach when I when I when I came here. You were really a coach. Today, you're 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 a doctor, you're a lawyer. I mean, you have to wear so many hats today, as a as a basketball coach. And and, uh, and when I was here, that that was truly all you had to do was to coach. And and uh, things have changed immensely. It's a totally different culture now than what I uh, uh, I was confronted with when I was here. What was your message to the players in the locker room today? Uh, I, I would suggest there was a lot of it was about opportunity that they have a unique opportunity as student athletes, uh, and it's the wise person who takes advantage of opportunities when they're placed in front of them, uh, and and that they have to be mindful that uh, that the that the opportunities don't reside just on the basketball court, but they reside. Uh, all over this campus and the, and the academic chambers too, and and that uh, the greatest victories that they're gonna they're gonna have and the greatest lessons they're gonna learn is how to win in the game of life, because maybe one of them will be lucky enough to play in the in the NBA, and and so at the end of the day, they got to equip themselves to go into society and become the responsible citizens. So. Uh, and they're going to learn a lot of great life lessons playing, participating in athletics, but they also have <coughs> to make it uh, certain that they take advantage of the academic opportunities that, that are provided for them here and, and, and to be appreciative of it. And so we, we, there's probably more of a, 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 a philosophy uh, a philosophical type of address, but uh, um, I, I, I hope I, I got a couple of them to think about what their responsibilities are to themselves and to the team and to the university. Any more questions? Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks, Scott.